What are the most common types of hoarding? Hoarding occurs in a variety of forms. What the hoarder accumulates and how they hoard determines the type of hoarding. Today we are going to discuss five of the most common types of hoarding. Number 1. Animal Hoarders. It usually starts with the desire to rescue animals. Over time and given the impossibility of stopping this behavior, hoarded animals often suffer from a lack of proper nutrition or the necessary veterinary care. Number 2. Paper Hoarders. Includes magazines, books, old utility bills, coupons, old mail, tickets and other types of paper that take up space in the home. Paper hoarding creates a number of issues, such as the potential for a fire to spread more quickly and be harder to put out, making it more difficult for residents to evacuate and for firefighters to reach those who require assistance. Another danger is that if paper is stacked too high, it can eventually collapse and hurt someone. One of the justifications for people who hoard books is that they need to have information available at all times on various topics. However, on rare occasions are read again. Number 3. Shopping Hoarders. All of us acquire items and use them, but the difference between those who suffer from this condition and those who don't, is that the hoarder keeps items even if they are not used. Even some objects remain in the original packaging with price stickers. Number 4. Food Hoarders. It is the purchase of excessive amounts of food despite the fact that there is no place in the refrigerator or in the pantry of the house to keep them. Decomposing attracts insects or rodents and has direct consequences for the individual's health. Number 5. Trash Hoarders. Among the types of hoarding, one of the most dangerous is the accumulation of garbage. It creates problems for the hoarder and for neighbors, due to strong odors that attract insects or rodents. It's aggravated in the summer when the heat accelerates the decomposition of organic matter. Hoarding disorders are difficult to treat, since many people who hoard, don't recognize it as a problem, or are unaware of how it affects their lives or the lives of others. You and your loved ones deserve the best in relief from hoarding and other situations that require extreme decluttering and cleaning services. First Hoarding Cleanup is here to provide compassionate and discreet service, providing you with a clean space and peace of mind. First Hoarding Cleanup. Helping you regain your space.